My question is, you know how God knows everything before and happen what will happen? Yes. Um, he always gives people a chance to choose if they want to go to um, with him in heaven or hell. Yes. I don't understand why he makes people if he already knows if they're going to choose to go to hell and just throw it away. I think we're out of time. <laughs> That's basically the question. Well, a couple of things we might say about that. First of all, when God elects to create this universe, he knows how it's going to turn out because he's outside of time. He knows the end from the beginning. But the people that believe and the people that don't believe in this universe are freely doing so. So somebody like, um, say, Billy Graham, who was a great evangelist for many years, God knew when he created the universe, Billy Graham would believe. He also knew that somebody like Richard Dawkins wouldn't believe. But he didn't force them to believe or not to believe. He allowed them to make their own choice. Now, is it possible God could cr have created a universe where everyone believed? Yes, it's possible, but probably not logically. It's logically possible, but probably not actually achievable. Because if God is truly giving people free will, then they're going to make their own choice. And I don't know about you, but I, I don't always choose God. Maybe you do. You're so innocent. But I don't always choose God. And I would have fallen just like Adam fell if it was just me. So I think people inevitably will fall away from God. But some people don't want to be redeemed by God. The second thing we might say about that is that God still gets his free will done through people who don't believe in him or his will done through people who don't believe in him. How? Richard Dawkins, for example, writes a book. A Christian reads a book and goes, wow, I never thought of that argument. I better go get an answer to it. It forces the Christian to actually become closer to God by reading what atheists write. In fact, the more I read atheists, the more I'm convinced that Christianity is true because I think their arguments are so poor. Thirdly, none of us would be here if it wasn't for atheists. Why? Because not everybody in my bloodline is a Christian. Right? I maybe have grandfathers or great grandfathers or grandmothers or whatever in my bloodline. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for atheists. So there's a lot of reasons why God would have allowed people to freely choose not to trust in him. If he forced people to trust in him, then they wouldn't really be free creatures and this wouldn't be a moral universe to begin with, would it? <laughs>